everybody my name is Charles is coming at you and uh, first apologize I got a pretty bad cold going on and it's all of five degrees outside but I just got my Canon DA 5150 Android based replacement for my old factory BMW E46 so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in today hopefully it'll go nice and smooth um, I was gonna do an unboxing video an actual unboxing there's really not much to it um, it's pretty much a box of wires, um, a couple extras that I, I had it out last night just taking a peek at it. Um, now I did order mine with the optional backup camera, it was an extra 25 bucks for the group buy. Um, that'll be done in warmer weather. But for now, I can go down there. Um, my first impressions were, holy cow, that's a lot of wires. Um, it looks like... I don't know if these are, the, I think these are two different harnesses, must be based on which, which, uh, which plug you have in the car. You got that one there, and then you got this one down here. So, I'm assuming that's an interchangeable harness part. Um, these are your other leads for, like, your, you know, your factory amps, inputs, outputs, all that fun stuff. Uh, that would be your GPS antenna, which I have yet to figure out where I'm going to run. And a remote control for, I have no idea what, um, I mean, I know what it's got, but I mean, you have your volume up, down, change, and stuff like that, but, I mean, it's a touchscreen Android unit, and I figure if I'm gonna, if, if my steering wheel controls don't work, at best I'll use it for volume up and down, but, I mean, I can't see myself using the remote unless there's anything in here, like, setup-wise, but, I mean, again, it's all touchscreen, I can't imagine there's anything this remote can do that I can't do on the unit itself, so, um, who knows? That's that there. Um, that's that. And then the unit itself, pretty straightforward. Just like so. For anyone not familiar, it's a single DIN mounting in the back, so you don't have to worry about hacking your air box all together. Um, but I mean, unboxing-wise, that's pretty much it. Um, feels just like any other factory radio I've ever, or, you know, aftermarket radio I've ever held. Nothing too extravagant. Um, but it should match nicely as far as the dash goes. So that's what that is. So I'm going to stop this video because there's really nothing else to tell. There is no owner's manual, but hopefully as I go, I'll be able to figure out how the, how's it goes and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is a really crappy unboxing video, this thing, uh, only because again, I'm, it's, it's, you know, five degrees outside and I'm cold and I have a cold and that's about it.